Hey everyone, welcome back. In this ISTQB foundation question and answer video, I'm going to cover another five exam questions along with explanations and how you can go ahead and choose the right answers by analyzing the exam questions. So we have already covered 25 questions now on the 26 questions. So I'll be covering from 26 to 30 in this particular video, five more questions. So let's go and see what exactly the question is. So which of the following best describes the concept behind error guessing okay so you have to choose out of these four options you will see that you just have to select one out of these four what best describes error guessing is what we have to figure out okay so if we go ahead with the first option error guessing involves using your knowledge and experience of defects found in the past and typical errors made by developers right so this looks correct because error guessing requires knowledge and experience of defects found in the past and typically what errors usually the developers make so this is correct answer the a is the correct answer let's go to the other ones and try to eliminate so you are 100 percent sure that this is correct right so if you go to the second one error guessing involves using your personal personal experience of development and errors you made as a developer absolutely not right you are not a developer you are not using your personal experience of development okay error guessing requires you to imagine that you are the user of the test object and to guess errors the user could make interacting with it right so this is also error guessing is also not about putting yourself in the customer shoes or end user so that is also incorrect okay so error guessing is about using your knowledge and experience of defects and typical errors that usually developers make so first one is correct right so two we have eliminated error guessing requires you to rapidly duplicate the development task to identify absolutely wrong okay so first one itself we clearly saw that this was absolutely clear that this is the correct answer but still in case you are not 100% sure read out all the options quickly so you can quickly make sure that whatever you have chosen is absolutely correct because ISTQB exam could be a little tricky in terms of the wording that they do in these options right so you have to make sure that you eliminate the rest of options even though you are 100% sure make sure you eliminate the rest okay and make it quick do not spend too much time on one particular question okay so that's question number 26 or first question of this particular video now question number 27 says in your project there has been a delay in the release of a brand new application test execution start date uh, and started late but you have very detailed domain knowledge detailed domain knowledge and good analytical skills the full list of requirements has not not yet been shared with the team but management is asking for some test results to be presented okay so here you can see that clearly they are saying that you have very good domain knowledge detailed domain knowledge you know about the domain you have good analytical skills full requirements are not ready but management is also looking for some test results right so the best fit technique so here you'll say the which test technique best fits in this situation now you have detailed detailed knowledge you don't have do not have the detailed requirement full list of requirement the best fit test technique in this uh, particular situation is exploratory testing right so exploratory testing is all about using your detailed domain knowledge good analytical skills exploring the software as you go without having the full list of requirement and then going through analyzing how the system behaves and then progressing from there on with different flows and coming up with the test results to present okay so that's why exploratory testing is the correct answer for this if you will check the other options you will see that checklist based testing absolutely no okay error guessing no because in the previous question itself we have seen that error guessing is about using your knowledge and experience of defects found in past and typical errors made by developers right so here you are using detailed domain knowledge and good analytical skills and full requirement list is not yet shared with the team right so that's where error guessing will be no and branch testing is absolutely not applicable in this particular case so the correct answer is exploratory testing okay so that's the next question now moving on to the next one question number 28 which of the following best describes the way acceptance criteria can be documented okay so how can acceptance criteria will how will acceptance criteria will be documented which is the best way 
right so out of these four we have to select one option so let's go ahead read one by one performing retrospective to, de to determine the actual needs of stakeholders regarding the given user story absolutely no retrospective performing retrospective is not how you define the acceptance criteria using the given when then format to describe an example test condition related to a given user story using verbal communication to reduce the risk of misunderstanding the acceptance criteria by others no verbal communication is not the best way documenting we are not figuring this out we, we are not crossing this out because this is the correct answer we are reading the others and eliminating them documenting risks related to a given user story in a test plan to facilitate the risk-based testing of a given user story absolutely no so the best description or the best way to describe acceptance criteria that to document it is using the given when then format to describe an example test condition related to a given user story so for this particular third question the correct answer is b using given when then format okay so that's the third question now moving on to the fourth one which is basically consider the following user story okay so we have the user story here as an editor i want to review content before it is published right so you'll see as an i want to so that okay so that's how the user stories are written so as an you know what, what is the role then what you want to do and the outcome so i want to review the content review content before it's published so that i can assure the grammar is correct okay and then for a user story these are the acceptance criteria what what the acceptance criteria are they are saying the user can log in to the content management system with editor role the editor can view existing content pages edit existing content pages and you'll see that editor okay everywhere the role is editor so once you log in with the editor these are the acceptance criteria can view the existing content can edit the page content can add markup co uh, comments can save changes editor can reassign the content owner role to make updates okay now which of the following is the best example of ATDD acceptance stress driven test for this particular user story right so let's go to these test cases that are there and see which one best which is the best example of this based on the acceptance criteria that is provided here now to find which one is the best we you have to make sure that you understand what acceptance criteria says and then formulate which one is the best which is testing the scenario of this acceptance criteria or or the criteria that is mentioned in here in these points as an acceptance criteria so first one a test if the editor can save the document after edit the page content right so editor can save after edit so here you will see one of the acceptance criteria is editor can edit so it covers that edit bit here okay so editor after editing so basically this ensures that editor can edit and then do we have the save can save editor can edit and editor can save so these two criteria are covered in this one so test if the editor can save the document after edit the page content okay so editor can edit the page content this is the this part after editing right and then save is this one okay so these this criteria is covered as part of this test case and here you will see only one option we have to choose so this is the correct answer we'll quickly go ahead with the rest one and see that we are able to eliminate all of those okay so rest because only one option is there so this should be absolutely fine however we'll go ahead and check quickly only if time permits but you have to be quick when you are in attempting istqb exam to eliminate these so test if the content owner can log in and make updates to the content right so here there is no content owner acceptance criteria here the only content owner it mentions is the editor can reassign to the content owner role to make updates right so there is no login acceptance criteria here so this is out test if the editor can schedule the edited content for publication there is no acceptance criteria for scheduling this is also out test if the editor can reassign to another editor to make updates this is also out because here it says reassign but reassign to another editor here the acceptance criteria says editor can reassign to the content owner not the another editor so this is also out so correct answer is a first one that we chose okay so that's the next question now moving to the last question of this particular video how do testers add value to iteration and release planning how do testers add value to iteration and release planning so let's go to the option and here also one option is correct so 
we just have to select one option. Testers determine the priority of the user stories to be developed. Testers focus only on the functional aspect of the system to be tested. Absolutely wrong. Testers focus on functional as well as non-functional aspects, right? This is also wrong because testers determine the priority of user story to be developed. No, testers do not determine the priority of the user stories. Okay. Testers participate in the detailed risk identification and risk assessment of user stories. This looks very close and we'll mark it and we'll read the next one and then we'll come to a final conclusion. Testers guarantee. Okay. You see the word guarantee. Guarantee the release of high quality software through early test design during the release planning okay absolutely contradicting early test design during the release planning no that doesn't happen and then guarantee the release of high quality software through early test design that doesn't happen during release planning so this is out correct answer is c testers participate in the detailed risk identification and risk assessment of the user stories so during the release planning activities when testers are involved they participate in the risk identification if there are any risks uh, what sort of integration is there are the systems available are the third party APIs available if your application needs to be integrated with other systems and APIs. So all of that from the tester's point of view, from the thought process, end to end thought process that tester will bring in from the system test testing perspective, they'll come and provide the inputs which will help to identify risk and assess the risk of the user stories during the release iteration and release planning right so this is the this is how testers add value during iteration and release planning okay so these these are another five questions of istqb foundation exam that's all for this particular video i hope this was helpful please go through all of these videos before you attempt your istqb exam these are going to be really really helpful for you to understand how you are going to read the options how you are going to select an option then eliminate the option in case you are not 100% sure so highly recommended before you attempt your exam so you are very sure that you are going to clear the ISTQB foundation exam so that's all for this video in the next one I'll cover another five ISTQB foundation exam questions and answers with explanation thank you see you in the next one